Here at Imagineer Systems we understand that one of the main reasons you have a job is four little words on set. Fix it in post. Having clean plates is at the heart of a lot of visual effects, but sadly they're not often captured on set. So that's why we built the Remove tool. It takes out any object that has usable background to replace it with. This is, makes it easier for you to remove things that you don't want there or need to replace with more interesting things such as a 3D character or a cupcake. Here's a standard example. This skier is in the way of a perfectly good snow shot. We simply use Mocha's planar tracker to help animate a shape around him to mask out his whole body, and then we track the plane of the background behind him. If you're not already familiar with our planar tracker, I recommend checking out our Learn Mocha tutorials and find out all about it. Making sure our background snow layer is below the skier in the layer stack, we then simply go ahead and remove. And with a little processing, the skier is now gone, using the tracked background to replace it in the shot. Of course, if all footage was that simple, you'd be churning out shots like a demo artist churns out, well, bad analogies. So let's try a different example. In this example, it's not so simple. We have a nice beach plane, but also an entirely different plane in the form of trees. Because Mocha is a planar tracker, we have to tell it which planes are which, or your remove will distort and show artifacts. This is where multipass removes come in handy. We simply track each plane with the surfer mast in front, and then we use each tracked part to create a separate remove pass in the output section. We use the beach plane first to cut out the lower half, and then switch to the back plane to remove the top half. This is done by feeding in the render we did from the previous remove, and then creating a new clip to start the render on the back plane. We can then do our remove pass on this part and clean up the rest of the shot. And done. One pristine, unsurfed beach. There are going to be times when you need to remove something that doesn't have any usable background behind it. For example, the actor in this scene has an appointment written on their hand and has somehow got past makeup. When the remove tool has no background to replace a mark like this, the answer is simple. Create your own clean plate. You just need to clean up one good frame from the footage in your favourite photo editing software, and then you can use that one clean plate to let Mocha work out the rest. You can even change the illumination model in the remove tool to try and help put back the subtle lighting changes that may otherwise look obvious if we just slapped a single frame in there. If you want more details on this, see our earlier remove demo. Search for remove module on our website. The pen marks are gone, and now our actor is immediately looking more professional. Well, at least his hands are. You can use as many clean plates as you like, so when something obstructs your shot, or key lighting changes, or more detail emerges, you can clean up a few frames and then bring them in to blend alongside the normal remove process. Here, there is lighting and detail changes where we want to remove these path lines, so we bring in two clean plates at the start and finish to really make sure that that remove is seamless. Sometimes you may not even need to remove all of your foreground, you just need 10 to 20% of the edge taken away. For example, if you're setting up a 2D to 3D stereo conversion shot, you may just need to see some of the background behind an object. Here we're removing only some of the thumb with the background that is available to us in the shot. It's not everything, but it'll be just enough for our needs. Finally, wires. Wire removal is a fun time for all in the visual effects industry, so we've just made it a little bit quicker. Simply animate your masks around the wires and track the background areas that need to replace them. You can do a straight remove, or if you need to, you can use the clean plate method as we described earlier. Because wires are so thin, you only need a minimal amount of visible background behind them to help Mocha get them out of there and get you back to even more fun work. Like Roto. So that wraps up this quick overview of the different ways you can use the Mocha Pro Remove module. If you would like to see any of these projects as a more detailed tutorial, please let us know on our forum, our blog, our Twitter, or our Facebook page. Combining Mocha's unique planar tracker and the remove module, you can save a lot of time the next time someone on set says, never mind, we'll fix it in post. Because let's face it, time is really the only commodity that matters. This has been Martin Brennan for Imagineer Systems.